So, uh, students, uh, before uh, learning about reshaping of the uh, arrays, one thing I must tell you that we understand that uh, NumPy arrays in general are basically nested lists, okay? So, uh, there are some functions in NumPy by which we can create arrays of any numbers, any numbers or integers or fractions, anything, okay? So, one of them is... a a main uh, function is there uh, one important function is there and that is a range function so today we're going to learn uh, and uh, how to create a one dimensional array with the uh, a range functions okay so suppose i'm trying to make a one dimensional array so i write np dot np dot a range a range i type say 10 so i should get an array which is one dimensional comprising of how many elements 10 elements so just check press enter and you get an array which is one dimensional array with 10 elements and it Okay, another is there. Suppose I write np dot a range. I want to make a one comma. Say I'm explaining. Let me first write it down. Point say five. Okay. Now what are these? Uh, over here. In this bracket, the first uh, part actually. Uh, gives you uh, the place where to start your array, okay? And uh, the next, uh, this five is actually where the array would end. And this last part, that is point five, defines the step of an array. So it is actually like np dot a range bracket start end and step. Okay, this is the general form. So, I should get an array that starts from 1 and that ends uh, at 5 with an interval of 0.5, okay? So, press enter and check the array begins from 1, then 1.5 because you have an interval of 0.5. That the next number should be 2, then 2.5, 3, 3.5, 4 and 4.5. Fine. So you can generate arrays of floating numbers and like that with range functions that we have used previously. As the output of the np.a range is an array of numbers, we can as usual reshape it to its any dimension. Okay, reshape it to or change it to uh, dimensions. So uh, now we can learn about reshaping because this uh, a range function makes it more convenient uh, for us to actually reshape, use the function reshaping function. Okay, so np dot, I make a new, uh, sorry, 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 my caps lock is on, a range 1 comma 12. That means my array should begin from 1. It should end before 12. And I give an interval, say, a step function, say, as 2. So, I get an array that is 1, then uh, 3, then 5, 7, 9, then 11. So it's a one-dimensional array. Now, I want to reshape this into a multi-dimensional array. So what should I write? I should write np dot a range. Which array I want to convert into multi-dimensional? The previous array only, that is the one-dimensional. I want to make it that into a multi-dimensional array. So... I should write 1 comma 1 point sorry 1 comma 12 comma 2 
and you close this part. Next is dot reshape. Don't forget to use the dot. Dot reshape. Uh, suppose I want to reshape this one dimension array into a two cross three uh, matrix format. So uh, two cross three dimension. I press enter. So here you go. You have a multi dimensional array. So you have learned the usage of the function a range and also the function of reshape. Okay. So reshaping you can do now with a range. Now let us learn arrays uh, using linspace. This is another function. So uh, what does it do? Let us actually uh, type and see. NP dot linspace one comma ten comma ten. Okay. Suppose I write this one comma ten comma ten. So what should I get? Let's see. Any guesses? Can you make? Okay, actually, linspace is a function that uh, is a function that is creates ten equidistant points. Can you see over here? It's creating ten equidistant points. To compare with the uh, uh, range function, let us make a comparison in order to enable you to understand it better way. So, np dot linspace. Suppose I have a point one, comma I say point five. Comma, I can say as five. So I'm giving the step as five. So from point one till point five, I'm saying that interval should be of five. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Of course. So, so uh, let's check. Oh, I made a mistake somewhere. We are uh, yes. So sorry. Np dot lin space. The spelling uh, is mistaken there. Yes, NP dot in space point one, comma point five, comma five. So it's showing you that uh, it's equidistant points, five points equidistant from point one till point five, and five values it is showing. Okay. Now the same thing I will do with np dot a range point one comma point five comma say as point one. So what is the change that you're noticing here? Yes, so in linspace, when you use linspace, you see that the end point is actually uh, the end point that you have mentioned. But in a range function, what happens? It actually is uh, before the last uh, ending point which you have mentioned. So if you mention over your five, it should stop around say four. If you mention over your, you see in just a previous uh, uh, thing where we have used this reshape function. Suppose this one, 1, 12. So our starting point was 1, our ending point was 12. And we have used the step as 2. So 1, then 3, then 5, then 7, then 9. And then it comes 11. So it is not moving beyond 12. So it's before 12. The same thing is for this one, 1, 0.5, then 0.2 is just because it's a 0.5 interval. So it is... A, before a five, but what is does is in case of lin space, it actually uh, goes till the end point, okay, and it gives you all the equidistant points, whatever you mentioned there. It it actually gives you all the equidistant points, okay. Yes. So the next thing we're gonna do is some simple algebra with arrays, okay. Uh, uh. 